this part I will show you how to use the level importer. Um, first up you will want to load your ROM. If this is the first time you do this, you will have to do some patching. I already have a prepared ROM so I won't do that, it's really easy, you just have to click through the menus. It does everything automatically. Um, I've shown how to draw levels already, so you will want to export that model you did and select it. I will do that. Just call it alpha. No particular reason for that. If you look into the preview, you can actually see your level. Uh, the camera and this thing is pretty weird. You have to get used to it a bit. You will see this Mario box. This indicates how Mario, will, how big Mario will be in your level. You can use it as a reference to see how big your model is. You can set the scaling. Scales your model, so if you notice, oh my level is too small, just set the scaling up. You can select which level to replace. You can also select the end cake picture. Let's see, where is it? This. I'm not too sure if this works properly, so I would use the other levels. Um, always put centered off. It just creates bugs, and if you ever change anything to your level, the center will be off. You will have to reposition the objects you put into the level. The flaw is if you can fall off the edges. For example, if I put this on, I could jump off this cliff and die. But if I leave it off, I would just jump against an invisible wall. For example, they did that in Bobomb's battlefield, so you couldn't jump over the hills. Offset model position allows you to move the model up or down. For example, if I put in minus 500, I would probably end up with a level like this. Doesn't really make a difference. <coughs> Skip textures, never enable this. It just deletes all your textures. Um, vertically flip textures, you only need this if you have a bad object exporter. But for the one I have suggested in my previous tutorials, you won't need this one. This doesn't matter. Terrain type. Set stuff like Mario can get stuck in the ground or the terrain produces snow. Um, this will sometimes leave you to get stuck in stones or something, so it's risky to use. Uh, obviously you can select your music. You have some extra music slots. The patches you had to do at the beginning created those slots. Um, snow, for example, was used in Kulka Mountain. You see all these snowflakes. Lava means bubbles come from specific collision types, from the lava collision type and from the different collision type. Um, camera preset. This is some camera setting. I usually 0E is pretty nice. 01 is nice too. 04 works for inside rooms sometimes. You have to experiment a bit what's the best for your level. Shading sets the brightness of the level. Um, your level has one bright side, one dark side. For example, I've played with this in my real-time day-night cycle thing. I just cycled through shading values to make it look dark and then bright again. Fog is fog. You can see fog, for example, in TikTok clock. RGB, just which color this is. This would be black fog, or this would be white fog. Um, Alright, background. You can use the original backgrounds, or you can use the custom background. But if you want to use the custom background, you need the background converter. Basically, you take a 248 times 248 texture, execute this file, this file, and will create another file called 2.png. It's important that the first file is called 1.png, and this one will be 256 times 256, and you import that one. Otherwise, you will have cutoffs in the background. You also have to make sure that this edge matches up with this edge. Otherwise, there will be seams in the background. This doesn't actually set the position where Mario spawns when you enter the level. 
since the position where my response after selecting a file. I don't really know what the purpose of this thing is, I've never used it and I can't see how this would work. <coughs> the objects in Mario 64 are separated into different RAM banks. They obviously can't just load all models at once into the RAM, so they had to do it like this and you can choose a set of objects you want. Um, these are all different banks. You can't select the bank that is in year and year two. They have different IDs that wouldn't work from the game. I will go into this in the next tutorial. Special material. You can set water boxes with this. You first have to enable it. Now you see you only have five coordinates. It basically takes every combination of X and Z coordinates and makes four vertices out of them and then takes the height and extends it infinitely downwards so you are quite limited in having quad instead of having a rectangle or something like that scrolling textures um, if you want to have a texture scroll in your model I will choose this as example always put it in one component otherwise it might screw up. Now you have to count how many polygons this is. First delete it, export it. 88 polygons were out. One hundred one with, that means we have 13 polygons. Um, Texture's called material 6, right? Um, 30 polygons. I want to scroll this on Y axis. Let's say speed doesn't really matter. I just want to show how this works. <coughs> uh, offset polygon is how many polygons this give. We want all of them to scroll, so 1 is the lowest. Number of polygons is obviously how many. Axis is does it scroll downwards or to the left? Speed is how many UV coordinates it scrolls every frame. Now it would just scroll on Y downwards. That means this will scroll into the right direction, this will scroll into the right direction, but this would just scroll into the wall. So what we could do is take this and rotate it, like so. Um, this obviously has some seams because I didn't do it in Blender. But if I would do it in Blender, I could do it perfectly. And now it will scroll with the direction of the flow. Let's export this again. ROM settings, set start level, set the level you get put in after selecting a file. This one is obvious. I will explain more by these later and then this one will be obvious too. If you ever run into camera issues with your custom level, you should select it here and disable the hardcoded camera settings. Um, this will fix the issue 50% of the time. This just enables or disables the act selector for your custom level. But if you enabled it for a level that originally had it disabled, you will just get gibberish text, so I suggest not to mess around with this. This just resets everything you did here. Um, after you've patched your ROM for the first time, you will always get two error messages when opening it. If you check this and save it, these messages will disappear. But instead, whenever you change the checksum area, you have to redo this, otherwise you can't open your ROM at all. So you have to decide whether you want to redo this every time you change something or do it at the end. This reduces lags on emulator but it doesn't really work in reality. You should extend the boundaries, it just enables you to make bigger levels. I don't really know what this does. Star positions. Um, you can set them 
you can get the coordinates with Toad's Tool 64. I will explain that in the next tutorial for almost whatever you want. Trajectories work like. We'll have to load the file right here. You have to make the files just with an editor. You just put your coordinates, whatever you want. Enter. Next set of coordinates, it's always X, Y, Z. So, if I would now load this file and save it, Cooper the Quick would one run to X position 200, Y minus 47, Z for 4545, and then he would turn towards this position and keep walking there. If I would add more coordinates, he would follow them along too. This one is obvious. For this you need the item box default contents file, which is this one. This is the bparam one your exclamation mark box needs. This is the behavior param one the spawned object will get. This is the model ID of the spawned object and this is the behavior ID of the spawned object. You will understand this once you get used to Toad's Tool 64. So for now, don't really worry about it. Uh, this lets you patch PPF files, like my more objects patch. Just save it afterwards. Um, I will put a tutorial in the description that explains the music. <laughs>